At the Every Woman Clinic, we see a large number of couples coming with the inability to conceive, that is infertility. If the couple cannot conceive for more than one year of trying, they need to get basic investigations done, which include a semen analysis, hormone tests for the lady, sonography, and a laparoscopy to check if her tubes are open or not. If the woman has blocked tubes, or if despite trying with simple treatment for a long time, she is not able to become pregnant, and if the husband's report is normal or slightly less than normal, they need to undergo sometimes an IVF, that is an in vitro fertilization. This is usually done in patients with blocked tubes or with normal tubes if intrauterine insemination has failed at least three to five times after trying. In IVF, the lady is, her own hormones are suppressed by giving GnRH analogs. Once her hormones are suppressed, she is given injections to produce a good number of eggs. Usually five to eight eggs are produced with the use of hormone injections. Once these eggs are ready as checked on sonography, the patient is given a very short general anesthesia and the eggs are removed with the help of a sonography machine. This is done from within the uh, body, so through the vagina and so there are no cuts and stitches on the body. 10 to 15 minute anesthesia is required for this procedure. Once the eggs are removed, the husband's semen sample is collected and within the lab, the eggs and the sperms are allowed to stay together so that they fertilize within about a day. A day after that, you can actually see life coming into the eggs. The embryos start to grow. They divide into four, eight parts, etc. And so on day two or day three after the egg pickup is done, these embryos are put back into the womb of the lady through a very tiny catheter through a procedure called embryo transfer. This is a completely painless procedure and just takes a minute to perform. The patient does not need to be hospitalized and goes home in just an hour after the procedure. This IVF technique now has extremely good success rate of up to 40 to 50 percent in well-selected cases. Prior to IVF, it's a good idea to do a hysteroscopy to make sure that the woman's uterus is good from the inside. She doesn't have any adhesions or septum or fibroids on the inner side of the uterus. The IVF procedure from beginning to end takes about three weeks of time and a patient following the procedure does a blood test in two weeks which gives her the result of a pregnancy whether it's 100% confirmed or not. So in well selected cases IVF is the treatment of choice for certain infertile couples.